Hey, this is Joe from Personas. Did you know you can rename your plugins in Studio One, like specific plugins in a specific session? Yeah. I didn't realize you could do that until recently, but check it out. So here is a mastering session on the project page in Studio One. And here is an EQ that I've got on one of the songs. So you may think, oh, why would I ever want to rename a plugin? I'll talk about that in a second. But first of all, how do you do it? You click on the top section of the EQ plugin where you have all your plugins listed if there are multiple. If you click on this little drop down, it's the very first option, it's called rename. So if I rename this like uh, notch ringing, because it, there was a ringing in this track that I notched out, check it out. If I go back to looking at my song, I can see, oh, okay, I deal with the notch ringing with this plugin. Or I could, I can right click it here and go rename and call it like, EQ notch ringing or something like whatever it literally like this makes me so excited you can make it say whatever you want um, you could even just call it something simple like EQ one so that's all well and good and you might even think ooh that's neat I'm gonna do that with all my plugins don't don't go rename everything I don't think it's necessary to rename everything but here's a very specific application where I've confused myself and I've wished I could rename things well it turns out you can so specific application for me is when I'm doing any kind of mid side processing. So how mid side works in Studio One is I can take a mix tool with the mid side transform uh, preset and I can put two of those in. Um, and actually I want to increase the gain by three decibels. That's what that preset should actually be set to. Um, and so now I've got mid side processing. Okay. And I can put like if I come in and we look at the the kind of arrangement here, I can add a splitter between the two, right? Typical mid-side stuff. And now I could have, with the way the splitter is set up as a channel split, this left side is the mid, this right side is the side. So mid-side processing. So I could put a pro EQ over here and a pro EQ over here. One is for the mid, one is for the side. Well, guess what? When I'm here looking at my list of plugins, I don't remember which one is the first one the left or is the right one the left. Or if I only have one, uh, let's say I don't have this one at all. Let's remove this one. I've literally, um, that's not what I wanted. Let's remove that plugin. Now I've got one EQ in here. Is that EQ on the mid or the side? I don't know. How, do, how am I supposed to know? Either I have to remember or I have to open the splitter and literally look at it to find out, which isn't the end of the world, but it'd be nice to just be able to know from this kind of high level view so I could just directly open up the plugin. Well, I can. I can do this. I could rename it and I could say side EQ. And just like that, even if I have another EQ over here, I can rename that one as, rename it as uh, mid EQ. And suddenly from here, I have a very clear picture of what's happening. I could even rename this as, uh, rename as um, mid side encode, which means it's in mid side. And I could rename this one as mid side decode. And so it's very, very clear that it's the mid side starts here, it splits, it has, there's a mid EQ, there's a side EQ, and then there's a mid side decode where it puts it back together as a stereo file. You don't have to understand mid side to understand that's really interesting that I can rename things here. So you can have them exactly how you want them. And then you could obviously save this um, right here, sorry, save this as an effects chain, store it as an effects chain and bring this in and it'll have all the names and everything saved for you, which is super duper handy. So. Just another, I, it's, is this gonna change your life? Probably not, but is it super handy to have in a pinch in this specific instance? Yeah, or let's say a couple other examples that I can think of. Let's say you use uh, one compressor to just grab those peaks for those loud parts of a vocal and another compressor to kind of smooth everything out. You could rename it peak compressor, smooth compressor. Um, let's say you've got one EQ that's taking care of some ringing in the snare and that's all it's doing and then you compress and do other stuff and another EQ is kind of generally doing like boosting the low end. You could rename those to let you know what each of those is doing so you don't have to go in and actually uh, see everything to see what's happening. Because sometimes if I open a song that I was mixing, let's say I start, start a mix and then life happens and I don't go back to that mix for a month, I'm going to forget 
what was going on. And rather than having to literally like try to like decode, okay, what did I do? Or like literally take notes on a sheet of paper, which is, isn't, it's actually not a bad idea. I can see, leave myself notes within the session by renaming specific plugins that I know <laughs> future me isn't going to remember what I was doing with that. That can be super handy. So use this, play around with it, see if you can make it a part of your workflow. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.